This is great technology. Why aren't we doing it? Because it's very misleading. When we remove these cells from the embryo, this embryo is euploid or this particular embryo has an abnormal chromosomal complement. There are lots of problems with this. There are lots of false positives and false negatives. One of the biggest problems we're seeing in IVF in India today is what I call the PGT scam. Why do I call it a scam? Because doctors are routinely offering PGD to all the patients who are coming to them. What is PGD? It's quite simple. It stands for pre-implantation genetic testing or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or pre-implantation genetic screening. Big mouthful. But what does that mean? It means we check the embryo to see whether it's genetically normal or not and then only put back the genetically normal embryos. Isn't that obvious? I mean, why would you want to put back a genetically abnormal embryo in the first place? So this is great technology. Why aren't we doing it? Because it's very misleading. In fact, the name itself is misleading. This is not pre-implantation genetic screening. It's only pre-implantation chromosomal screening or aneuploidy screening. Because the reality is the limitation of the test today is that when we remove these cells from the embryo, and we can remove two or three, usually not more than that, because you don't want to damage the embryo, we can only test it using the genetic technology available today to count the number of chromosomes. So we can tell you, yes, this chromosome has a normal chromosomal complement, this embryo is euploid, or this particular embryo has an abnormal chromosomal complement, or it's aneuploid, and you don't want to put back aneuploid embryos, obviously. There are lots of problems with this. There are lots of false positives and false negatives. Not only is it much more expensive, patients don't even understand. And frankly, lots of the IVF doctors don't understand the genetics. They're quite happy to do it. Say, hey, we did PGD for you to increase your chance of getting pregnant. And this is especially true for patients who failed IVF cycle. Because the seductive promises with this additional technology, your chance of getting pregnant will increase. But it doesn't. It doesn't because even though the chromosome complement for that embryo may be normal, it could still have lethal genetic defects. So it's very common to see patients who've done PGD, transferred PGD normal embryos and who still don't get pregnant. And who even if they get pregnant, they end up miscarrying and losing that baby. Because even though the chromosomal complement was normal, remember there are only 23 pairs of chromosomes, there are 30,000 genes and that chromosomally normal embryo could still have lethal genetic defects which will prevent it from developing from a particular point. So don't let your doctor take you for a ride. Learn to ask questions.